So how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. So what's going on for you? I'm really excited to graduate. It almost doesn't feel real. I'm so used to like watching my friends graduate and now I'm there and I'm the one graduating. It's it's crazy. It's, it's really different than how I thought it was gonna be. You're in the driver's seat and it's the beginning of something new and wonderful. I think that what you're doing is, is so important because you're already setting your goals, you're already looking forward, you're already thinking about what it's like to be a healthcare worker, putting yourself in that context. So you're beginning to, to um, have a broader perspective. Yeah, what a time it's been though, getting, getting a degree in health during a global pandemic. I feel sort of like I, I lost a year, mm -hmm. you know, in some ways. Um, when I think back to when something happened, I think it's last year, but it was actually the year before. Right. There's a lot of silver linings too. Even though we couldn't be physically together, we relied on each other much more. I read a story, a children's story every week. I put it on video for, for the staff and faculty. I think that it, it gave me an opportunity to be sort of a nurturer, right. which is another role of women in, you know, in leadership, is, is trying to make people feel um, they're cared about. They understand what it's like to be a leader and to succeed in life. I feel so um, blessed, actually, to have the opportunity to mentor young women, mm -hmm. but it's so important, too. So in the fall, I'm planning on starting um, a master's program in communication disorders here at ASU. That's something I'm really excited about, actually. There's a couple of people um, in the speech and hearing staff that I got to know really well um, and helped me kind of like guide me through what I need to do to have the career that I want to. Um, and I really appreciate that. The past year, I've really learned how essential healthcare workers really are. I think that that's something we all learned, right? That, man, my profession is essential and I need to work at this, right? Because the world needs speech language pathologists and occupational therapists and physical therapists, right? That's what the world needs, even during a pandemic. Life is not a straight line, mm -hmm. right? It's like a river, I always say, with big boulders in the middle and you just gotta stay on the raft. But also appreciating the journey. I mean, I did definitely not go, you know, from undergraduate to graduate to, I did a lot of things in the middle. So. Yeah, a lot of things in between. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. I feel like I've had a lot of those boulders just in my undergraduate alone. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people would share that with me too. Yeah, I've definitely made a lot of mistakes, um, but I've learned a lot from them too. And I think that that's very valuable. I can't wait, can't wait to see what I'm gonna be learning moving forward. I think that even though graduation this year is gonna look really different than what I was expecting it to look like, I still think it will be very memorable because it is moving from one place in your life to another place in your life life. It's going to look different, but it's still that. It's still the same. You have gone to school for 16 years of your life. I think that's another piece is that you you had this in your mind, like, you know, this is the end. And all of a sudden it's like, okay, now what? I really appreciate having an opportunity to continue staying in touch with our students and really getting to know you. And I hope maybe you come and visit me. I look forward to really having continuing this conversation. Oh, absolutely. I'd love to continue the conversation with you. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. From all of us at the College of Health Solutions, congratulations, class of 2021. You are now alumni, and we want to hear from you. Send us your stories, come and visit, and post on the alumni website. We are so looking forward to hearing about how you're going to change the future of health. Give them health, devils.